Your favorite bar may not just be serving cocktails now as there are more and more non-alcoholic beverages becoming available. I am Mocktail Mo and I entered into the alcohol-free space in 2018. The last drink I ever had was an old fashioned. I had one drink and the next day I went to urgent care. At that time, there really weren't all of these things on the market. And really your only option was um, a soda or a lemonade or iced tea. And then here in the United States around 2019, it really started to kind of take off and now the alcohol-free space as an industry, as a beverage industry, is growing by roughly 30% year over year. My mission is to move from this wonderful, fabulous space with all these people and kind of transition it over to the mainstream. My name is Steve Hotchkiss. I am the general manager at Liquor World in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We've always had a little bit of non-alcoholic beer and wine in here over the years for several years. We started taking off a little before COVID kicked in. Uh, we started noticing a, a greater need. We wanted to still have a can or a cup of something in a social environment um, without getting the alcohol and still be a part of that crowd. Our store here, we really pushed it, and it's a it's a grassroots thing. We, you know, we we talked to people, we hand sold a lot of that stuff, and really built the customer base for it, because there is people out there that need it, uh, people out there that want it, um, and we're moving it. This is this is proof. Uh, we went from a you know a tiny little section here to that. I've got a a whole door, a whole cooler door uh, dedicated to just NA beers. Uh, so there is a there is definitely a, a need for it, and I like people coming here looking for it. Although this lifestyle may not be for everyone, it seems like there are many options for those wanting to pursue the alcohol-free life. 